Oh no. Oh no. What am I doing? This isn't... It can't be. It's... No. Eh. It's not too late. The title screen hasn't come up yet. I can abandon ship, right? Oh god. Welcome to... Let's play Fire Emblem 6, aka Sword of Seals, aka Nintendo of America was like, nah, that shit ain't called Sword of Seals, that shit is called Binding Blade. I'm going to play on normal, because if you think I'm going to play on hard, I'm going to murder you in your sleep. And we've got this intro right here. Nobody really cares about the story in this game, it's like, whatever, man. Like, who really cares? It's like, the laws of nature were twisted from the vast amounts of power that were released, and then nobody cared because this game... This game... And now, 1,000 years later... And then we got yet another intro... Technology and Civilization... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The highest level of civilization. Okay. I have nothing to say. This is all just really like setting the stage for something that isn't as great as it appears. It's okay, live horrible people with bad growth rates and horrible classes. Except this game would be the game to deviate from that pattern. Oh no, it's Zephyr, he's evil. After we saved him in Fire Emblem 7, oh no, nobody would have seen that coming. Look at that, zoom in. Oh no, it's Roy. Oh no. He was the transfer student. Oh god, Elliewood, your face. What happened? Oh god, Hector. Oh god. You had a daughter. Her name isn't Uther either. And boars. Mm hmm. This already sounds amazing. Chapter One Dawn of Destiny. Sounds like bad fan fiction already. We got these dudes. Hey, rat face. And slow text. Even Elliewood, the greatest knight in Lycia. Lycia? Whatever. Greatest knight? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's clearly sane. Or Marcus. Who do you think I am? <laughs> the treasure. And then that village got wrecked. Oh god, Merlinus. Blast! Well, it looks like Elliewood picked up a few mannerisms from Hector. Oh no. <laughs> what can you do? Can you wield axes? No. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, you're a little girl. I don't think you want to put your hopes on Roy, I, I think you more want to put your faith in me. Maybe. Yes, sir. And then there were a shit ton of enemies. Oh, it's Lance, what's the matter? That's how Roy sounds. Like, 
I, I just imagine everyone in this game speaking in monotone. What? With his illness. <laughs> Bores. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have let Lilina go. Marcus! Marcus! Amazing. Alright, well, first things first. Off, fast, max, auto cursor off, and color number three. Now, let's take a look at this group of. This is Roy. Uh, uh, uh. He's not good. He's. You, this is never going up. This is probably not going up either. This is gonna. This is gonna max out. That's gonna be his only stat that gets maxed out. This isn't going up ever, and that's not going up ever. He has 0% growth rates and everything. Definitely, totally. And he. We gotta carry him the entire game. God. Fours. Um, he's good. Like, you can use him if you want in normal mode, and he'll be cool, and maybe. No. Marcus! Marcus is now like 60 years old, and look at those stats. They took a big hit. And he has like below average growth rates, and he's super Jagan now, instead of guy who's gonna carry you through the entire game. Walt! And my voice cracked a bit there. He's an archer, and you know how I feel about those. Funnily enough, I think I've used an archer in both the Fire Emblem games I've played, so I'm probably gonna use one in this game. Walt is not one of them. And the saving graces. Alan, your red cavalier, he is good at strength and things of that nature, like well, it's, it makes it easier to talk to them as a pair. Lance is the green cavalier, and Lance... He has, like, 5% more speed growth, 5% more skill growth, and... Like, less luck in defense and strength, but, like, the difference between the two are, like, so negligible that... If you train them both, they're probably gonna turn out, like, pretty even, that's why they're... I really like them both. Basically, if Lance gets enough strength to actually start killing things, and if Alan gets enough speed to double attack things, they're good to go. And you know, uh, Boris, I'm gonna have to confiscate your things. Okay. And here. And it wouldn't be a Fire Emblem Let's Play without me rigging a few level ups, would it? At least while I still can. Oh no, a reinforcement for Robert. Oh no, Alan. Yeah, they're just gonna dogpile on us, and then Roy is gonna do to do right there. Actually, kill something. Alan gets to get this dude. Oh, another thing I should mention about Ellen and Lance, they are fantastic. Like, if you notice, I'm gonna try and keep them super glued together the entire playthrough. So they can get that wonderful support going. Because it's, it's great support. Basically, if you get that support between them, and you can get it in like, like, two chapters, really, like, get their C rank support. It's actually very viable to get it. Oh, hey, Roy got hit. And we just wanna skewer this guy. Get our dudes ready to roll. And equip that iron sword, and yeah. Supports work in a weird way in this game. I don't feel like going into detail. Maybe I'll throw up one of those silly little custom annotation things that I usually do. Sounds nice. Uh, 
Alan's about to get a level. Hopefully it's a good one. And I like to stick Roy between Alan and Lance because they too have... Well, basically, if you get that support triangle going... Yeah, it's a village. I'm gonna skip its text. Hey, hey yourself. Basically, they have a support triangle of doom, if you get it. Basically, GG game. And this is going to be the only good level up Roy is ever going to get. From here, it's all fair game. <laughs> Six strength. Oh, Jesus. Alan and Lance, bless your souls, please make up for Roy's future failures that are all but guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Let's toss Roy another kill. The way a lot of people would like to play this game is basically... What's the word? Have Roy get his 20 levels fast and then get everyone else, like, going. Looks like it's gonna be another level. Come on, Lance. Oh, hello. That's great. Defense is nice. And do we want to toss Alan to kill? No, not quite yet. I really just wanna get Roy up, up and running. Mm -hmm. No one in super dead condition yet. Stick him in there, and Marcus gets to do nothing because he's kind of a bad Jagan in the sense that he'll wreck stuff even with an iron sword. So near the middle of the game, he'll actually stop stealing kills from you. Alright, let's give Alan this level and see what he comes up with. Oh yes, strength. Nice. This game is, is being kind to me today. Let's see how long that lasts. Hmm... <laughs> yeah. For now, Marcus is just a delete unit button. Hmm. Hey! Is Alan doubling? Or was that Lance? That was Lance. Hmm. Here you go, Roy. Oh, he's gonna get another level soon. I don't like this archer. He's like, he's a butt. Hold up. How much damage can he even do? Oh, three damage, that's nothing to even be afraid of. What, am, what the heck am I doing? Poke this dude. Whatever to do. Get that support still going. And we're good. I think I'll give the boss kill to... What's his face? Lance. Yes, that sounds like a splendid idea. Roy doubling things? What? Level up. And that was my my will to live shattering. Roy. 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 That's just that's, that's Roy. Oh, you know what I'll do. I'll turn on animations for bosses. A little freshen things up a bit. Ah, Marcus, stop wasting support points. Well, now that um, Alan is just basically... I mean, Lance is going to be chipping the boss to death. I can explain that... Um, support points are, like, limited. Like, it's not how you used to be able to just sit in a chapter for days and basically get a support. No, like, there's a limited pool of support points and you're not, like, gonna 
you're not going to get a support after a certain point. So. Don't hit that. Don't, you're not, don't hit that 34, okay? Who do you think you are? Hitting a 34. Who do you think you are? And, and that's, that's an 86. I don't trust this game as far as I can throw it, okay? <laughs> Let me just stall turns, okay? Bear with me. Ooh, it would have missed. Interesting. Come on, Lance. Come on, Lance. Oh, not you too, Lance! Damn it. <laughs> and then we end off this chapter. Oh man. Looks like Alan's the only person who really wants to prove himself. Thank you for coming this far. <laughs> I'm still alive, much to my chagrin. Galicia Alliance Army. The law! The ancient rule. Okay. Yes. Yes. Flat yes. Yes. <laughs> no, you won't. You use magic, you're such a disgrace. <laughs> Am I wrong? A mercenary group? Hmm. <laughs> Merlinus. You can do it, Roy. Oh god. <laughs> Bors. Bors the freaking psychic over here. Be careful, Roy. Oh dear. This can only go downhill from here. <laughs>